welcome back. Well, today we're going to look at some Davidoff cigars, or one in particular. We have others on the agenda, but today is the Winston Churchill Late Hour Churchill 7x48. And uh, there's your density. Now, one thing I, uh, I I got a little excited. I like making these videos and the intros, and I got and, I, and and when I decided I was going to do a Winston Churchill cigar, I got very excited. I said, "There's got to be a ton of pictures out there I could use." Just about all of them are copyrighted, so the uh, logo for the late hour is what you see. And I had one other thing in mind. Since I can't use a picture, I'll use my bobblehead. Hey, Winston. What's up? <laughs> there he goes. Do it, Winston. Do it, baby. Got a little cigar there. All right. So this cigar, if you know that, uh, most of you know that uh, Davidoff now owns Camacho, the brand. And Camacho did something a few years back where they barrel aged uh, using bourbon barrels. Well, that idea sort of floated around and that uh, throughout the Davidoff uh, family owners. And uh, they decided to do that with this version of the Winston Churchill. The late hour it uses a Viso from Condega, Nicaragua, and is aged for six months in Speyside Scotch barrels. Now, around that Nicaraguan leaf are three Dominican tobaccos. O, uh, Olar, Viso, and Palato uh, Seco, and San Vincent, oh boy, Mejorado Viso, and a Viso from Esteli, Nicaragua. Whew. On top of that is a Mexican San Andreas Negro binder and an Ecuadorian Habano Moran Oscuro wrapper. There'll be a test later. Make sure you got all that written down. That's a lot of things going on. Okay. Uh, about this cigar, as far as sizes, comes in three sizes, Robusto, Toro, and Churchill. Doesn't it seem appropriate that I would do a Churchill based on Winston Churchill? Uh, that's sort of the long and the short of it, other than the fact that these are, um, we're now in the upper end or moving up quickly as far as price. Last week, uh, we did the, um, the new Punch uh cigar there was six bucks let's try 20 to 22 for this all right and uh there'll be other davidoffs coming and these were not sent to me folks i purchased them all myself so that's why i asked for your help to make these uh keep these reviews going it, it's not cheap so uh think about making a little donation to on the blog through paypal all right um, that is the long and the short of it. I like the band. I think it's kind of cool. It's got, you know, just Winston Churchill there with his little cigar hanging out very much like mine over here. And it says the late hour. So let's get right to it. The Winston Churchill, the late hour Churchill. Now, if you look right over my shoulder, back by my picture, there's a little guy standing in bobblehead, that's Fidel Castro. And right next to him normally stands Winston Churchill. So project him back there and that's where he'll be. So from now on, when you see this angle, you will see Winston Churchill, maybe or maybe not bobbling. And, uh, Oh, Fidel, right back there. All right. Oh, yes, that's a good draw. That's a very good draw.
It takes about two minutes for the cigar to get to the flavors. It sort of settles down. The first two minutes is sort of finding itself. There's a lot of earthiness and what have you, but just about two minutes in, it really settles into these flavor notes initially. You have a little citrus peel. You have some leather. You have peach, notes of peach with brown sugar and a lot of a very earthy black coffee. It's nice black pepper rated at about seven. So that's how you start. And it's not bad at all. It's uh, a lot of earthiness. Even now, I can feel a lot of lingering black pepper. So uh, it's a nice start. A uh, lot fairly dark, a lot of leather notes, a lot of earthy black coffee notes. So let's see how we progress. Let's see what we have at first third. here in the first third and if you notice the time that's correct a lot of burn time out of this uh, cigar which is good because it's expensive now your flavor notes are pretty much like I said before but there's there's cinnamon in the mix and the leather notes are uh, probably the second or third thing you're going to notice they're not intrusive and then there's plenty of the black coffee I really would call the cigar medium, medium fullish, you know, light, low grade, medium to full, medium, something like that. The uh, peach notes are still very nice. The orange peel is sort of subdued, but you still get it. You get the brown sugar, cinnamon. Um, nice notes. Still fairly dark noted, but there's quite a bit of sweetness in that peach, brown sugar. And uh, well, peach and brown sugar, cinnamon doesn't really add sweetness, but it adds a nice tingly flavor. Your finish is peach. <laughs> and maybe a touch of brown sugar, but it's fairly peachy. Peachy. Nice lingering black pepper, though. Really nice. Nice, nice first third. The I like this. I like those notes. The sweet notes and leather and black coffee work with me. It's got to be significant sweetness for leather and black coffee. And it is. I rate the first third 94. It is extremely enjoyable. And if you notice, look who's back in his little spot. There's old Winston over there next to Adela. Boy, those are opposites, but they're cigar guys, so whatever. So that's the first third. Very good. Very good. So let's move on. Great burn time. What was it? Nearly 40, 44 minutes, almost 45 minutes to get to the first third. That's, that's excellent. So let's see what the second third has. Here we are at the end of the second third. And you still have your peach notes. The orange peel is no longer there, really. Brown sugar, a touch of cinnamon, plenty of leather. It's risen. Black coffee's risen. A little. Medium to full. Finish is still heavy peach. There's a little touch of black coffee now. And still very nice lingering black pepper, but the cigar is uh, very nice and very dark noted. A little darker now than before, so I'm lowering the score to 93. It's just a little, it's just a little more uh, darker with the leather and the black coffee and the, the sweeter notes. Something had to give, and they gave but just a little. So it's still very good. Very impressed by this cigar. So we'll see what the final third brings but really and truly so far so good well 
we are down to the end. So let's wrap it up. All right, you still have your peach notes, light brown sugar. And now, out of nowhere, we have nutmeg notes with the leather and the black coffee. Full bodied, finishes still peach, nutmeg, and black coffee with very nice lingering black pepper. The black pepper in the cigar has been good throughout. The peach notes are the first flavor you get in the final third, but you quickly get the nutmeg, leather, and black coffee. So I wouldn't call them dominant anymore. Cigar has been good. It is on the pricey side, but I would suggest you try it. It's pretty good. Final third, I would rate it 92. This is a good offering from Davidoff. Winston Churchill series. The late hour turned out to be a pretty good cigar. Overall score is 93. Not bad at all. So there you have it. The Winston Churchill, the late hour Churchill, 93.